everybody, this is Dane with Slater Museum. And even though the museum is closed, I wanted to take this opportunity to show off some of our amazing and unique artifacts within the museum's collection. So come and join me and take a look at what makes this museum so special. Today we're going to be looking at another plaster cast in our amazing collection of plaster casts here at Slater Museum. This one is probably my favorite out of all the plaster casts that we have here. This is a cast of the Nike of Samothrace, also known as the Winged Victory. This is a cast of the original. The original is on display in the Louvre Museum. It's been there ever since about the year 1883 or so. The original was unearthed for the first time in thousands of years in the early 1860s and when it was rediscovered, it shocked the world of art history. It was considered to be the most beautiful sculpture in Greek history, and still today it is regarded as one of the most beautiful and iconic sculptures in all of Greek history. But there's something else about Nike I'd like to tell you about. She is the goddess of victory in Greek mythology, and she's a winged goddess, as you can see. But the neat thing is something I'm going to show you over here because just like so many companies and brands out there, they like to borrow from history. They like to borrow from the past. And I'm sure most all of you have seen this symbol. This is a symbol of the company Nike. We're so familiar with that Nike swoosh symbol that we see here. But the neat thing about this symbol is when the company was being formed in the mid-1960s, they're trying to figure out, well, what do we use as a logo? How, do, how are we going to brand our company? You know, we're calling ourselves Nike after the Greek goddess of victory, but how are we going to market ourselves? What's going to be our logo? Well, they came up with this, the Nike swoosh symbol. But here's something interesting. This is actually not a check mark. And it's not really a swoosh. You know why? Because it's really meant to be looked at upside down. Check that out. Does it look a little bit more familiar to you now? Yep, that's because the Nike swoosh is actually a wing. And you'll notice that every pair of shoes has a set of those wings. Those wings are meant to carry you over the finish line. You might be running a race, running a marathon, or part participating in a sports activity. And if you wanna feel like a winner, if you wanna feel like you're going to win a competition or win that race, all you have to do is put on your Nike shoes. Those wings will carry you to victory.